Hey guys, Jason, Surviving Dad Life. Today, we're going to be cleaning out the floor mats in my pickup truck. Uh, they get pretty filthy. I'm in and out of it all the time. I'm walking along in fields and dirt and mud, and it's been snowing and raining and everything else. Uh, today, I'm going to have... Uh, where are you at, guys? Got two helpers with me today. I'm going to let them exchange... Uh, cleaning out and fixing up the floor mats so let's go over to the truck and take a look at those floor mats and we'll get them over here and get them all cleaned up the driver's side one is going to be the filthiest one because that's one that I'm in and out all the time but as you can see it's pretty filthy Especially right in here, you know, where your heel sets when you're pushing on the accelerator. It's filthy there. I'm sure the piles push down and that kind of stuff. But we're going to get those cleaned up. Uh, the first thing is we're going to pop them out of these snaps that are in here in the floor. And then get a majority of your uh, dirt and stuff off of it just by flinging it out on the ground. Uh, anyway, Colton, you want to grab that? Don't spill any of the dirt in the floor of the truck there. And just get it out here and then just shake it out. And you know, most of it's getting out of there. Cadence, if you want to go on the other side and get the other one. And see, that's already noticeably different. A lot cleaner. We'll uh, go over here and check out the other one that Cadence is getting. You need me to help you with it? There you go, watch out. <clears throat> I'll get those things out. They're kind of tough sometimes. This one's pretty filthy too, because, well, I got a rookie with me, and rookies are slobs. Anyway, I got those popped out. If you want to grab that cadence. And then she's going to shake it out too. If you hold the end of it, both hands on this one end, and shake it like that. There you go. All right, and we'll go over here and we'll get to uh, cleaning them out. All right, my two helpers are gonna take care of all this for me today. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with just vacuuming it. We're gonna get a big majority of the stuff out of there with just the vacuum. And then uh, I've got a the shop vac right here. On the driver's side carpet, I'm gonna use this one. Uh, it's from Chemical Guys. This one has a, uh, a citrusy scent to it. Uh, this one doesn't have a scent, but from what I read, it's got an odor neutralizer in it. But we're going to use these two products. This one's going to go on the driver's side. This one on the passenger side. We're going to um, fully spray down the mats. And then we're going to use the drill brush and then the carpet extractor to pull out all of the uh, chemicals that are left on it. So, first off, we're going to start with uh, vacuuming out the carpets, and I'm going to let uh, the mini-me's take care of that. Okay. I'm going to let them clean this out, and then I'm going to be using the crevice tool, and we're going to start with there. Put it on the end of that bad boy. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the carpet's, like, coming apart or something. I don't know, but we'll get that vacuumed out real good. Passenger side floor mat, we've got uh, the Adams carpet and upholstery cleaner. Driver's side, we've got Chemical Guys fabric clean. Uh, like I was saying earlier, this one has like a citrus smell to it. This one doesn't have an odor. Well, it does. It kind of stinks. But uh, it's an odor neutralizer. 
So I'm going to let the kids spray both of these mat down and um, let it dwell for a few minutes. And then we're going to use the carpet extractor and we're going to suck up all those chemicals after we've used the drill brush on them. So you guys take it and hose them down. Hold on. This one might need to be opened up. There you go. This one. No, that's good. Okay, y'all smell them. Cadence, what's your smell like? Mine kind of smells like a car wash. Like a car wash? Oh yeah, it does. It smells kind of like a car wash. Yeah, so does mine. What is it? Yeah, it's kind of got that soapy, like if you go into mm -hmm. the car wash and you pull in there. Yeah, that's what they kind of smell like. Yep. Okay. Uh, Drill brush. Yeah, I'm going to drill this one out first. I'm going to make sure it's plenty saturated. I can't remember where I got this spray bottle at, but the sprayer sucks. Yeah, it, it has a little bit of spray, then it just expands, and then it goes back down. And you have to pump it a lot. Yeah. That's one of those sprayers that you can spray it upside down, so there's a hole up here, and it loses its suction, and the fluid will drop back down. All right, we're going to start with this one here. I'll move you guys over and see this one better. Okay. Sorry guys, I didn't even notice. I should have moved y'all. Alright, you guys saw what I was doing with the drill brush and extracting and that kind of stuff. Uh, don't let this stuff get dry. It'll make the carpet stiff. And it'll also make it harder to get it out. Anyway, now I've got the uh, extractor. All I've got in here... And I don't know if you guys can see. All I've got in here is there's just clean, clean water over here. And that's just an empty container. And you'll see what we pull out. But anyway, uh, take your sprayer, Colton. Okay. And lightly kind of just keep yours misted. And we're going to let Cadence suck this one out. Okay, we let Cadence do the extracting on this one. If you want to pan down here, it looks really good. She got out most of the dirt and the fibers and all that stuff. Really clean. Colton's going to take over the camera now. And uh, I'm going to extract this one. It's pretty saturated. And you guys will be able to see the nozzle and just how much stuff I'm pulling up. Alright, we got through over the uh, driver's side 
format and it looks uh, like night and day different so far. There's still a little bit of stragglers, a little bit of dirt in there, but you're not gonna get it 100% perfect, you never are, but you're gonna make it look like 80 to 90% better. You're not gonna get everything out of it. So don't sit there and spend hours upon hours trying to get it cleaned out, because it's not gonna happen. But you want it to just look better. So these don't look quite like new, but they look, oh, like I was saying, about 90, 80% better. Anyway, we're gonna leave these out. We're gonna let these dry, and we're gonna go vacuum out the, uh, the carpet in the truck. I'm not gonna show that, because you guys know how to vacuum. You know what that's about. But uh, anyway, we'll get to vacuuming that out. We'll let these dry out, and then we'll finish up the video. Okay. Okay, guys, this wasn't a product review video. This is more of a how-to on how you can clean your floor mats. Uh, just remember, we're going to start out with, uh, you know, get them out of the truck, shake them off, get all the dirt off of them, get a majority of it out. Then you're going to jump to your vacuum. You can vacuum it out. Uh, and heck, if you needed to, if you didn't have, like, a shop vac or whatever, you can take it in the house and put your carpet vacuum on it and get it out. It'd probably be a better job. Uh, and then after that, you're going to take your uh, chemicals, your, whichever one you decide, you're going to saturate them. Then you can use a drill brush or you can use a regular brush. And um, you can, you know, go over it with, the, you know, the drill brush is going to be a better choice. It's going to get it up faster and uh, agitate everything. Uh, your hand brush is fine too. Might just take a little longer. It might be better. It's whatever you prefer. And after you do that and you agitate everything, you're going to use your uh, uh, microfiber towel and you're going to either blotch it and get everything up or you can use a uh, carpet extractor and pull up everything. If you look down here, I don't know how good you can see that, but these carpets, these uh, floor mats, just doing those two sides, that's how filthy the carpets were. And these haven't been cleaned in a couple of weeks. So you can imagine if some of you like haven't cleaned your floor mats in forever, it's probably going to be even darker than that. But uh, anyway, as far as the two products go, they go on with different smells. This one's citrusy. This one has like a chemical smell to it. But after just a few minutes after it's dried out, you don't notice the citrus smell. They smell the same. We've smelled these. They smell like carpet. There's no... Clean carpet. Huh? Clean carpet. Yeah, carpet. there's no distinct, uh, distinguishable smell about it. But um, anyway, we're going to get these put back in the truck. And don't forget, go down in the bottom, like, comment in the video, subscribe, and hit that bell. That way, when the next video I put up, you guys get a notification about it. Oh, and then the other thing is, you know, I got more work to do. So you guys get out of here. You're bothering me.